Hey everybody, um, this is Kathy Case with uh, another episode of Chalk It Live. I am asking for uh, comments for anyone that can hear me and you can see me. Um, I don't have sound, so I'm not sure if I'm using a new setup, so I'm not sure that you can see me or hear me. So just let me know. And when I see the comment that you can see me and you can hear me, I will get started. Good look and sound. Thanks, Tamitha. Okay, so we will um, get started. Um, like I said, my name is Kathy Case, and I am an independent chalk couture designer. And um, I just wanted to let y'all know that this is a spoiler alert. Um, I got my club couture transfer day before yesterday. And it's in this real pretty envelope. I haven't even opened it. I did uh, see a sneak peek of um, what this one is. And if you're not familiar with uh, Club Couture, let me change my piece of paper here because I've got notes all over it. If you are not familiar with uh, Club Couture, it is our monthly transfer club and um, we get as a designer we get um, this every month it is part of our um, deal as being a designer we um, have a storefront an online storefront and in that fee that we pay monthly they give us um, our transfer so if you are not a designer and you are thinking about uh, Chalk Couture, the club is a really good way to uh, see if it's something that you're interested in or if it's something that you think you want to do. And it's, it's really easy. It um, helps you decide, you know, hey, this is something that I think I can take up, a hobby that I can take up. Uh, Chalk Couture is a um, company where you can have a business. It's a business in a box. They have a startup kit. If you are interested in joining my team, if you um, are not already working with a designer, just um, comment join and I will be in touch with you and um, get you some more information. If you are interested in the Chalk Couture Club, just um, comment club and I'll, I'll get in touch with you. What the club is what, what we're going to talk about tonight and what it is, is you get a monthly transfer. This month where it is inside this envelope, you will get this. You get um, three chalk paste and they're various colors. This is what it looks like and you get three of these. This just happens to be a white. They don't usually send you a white, but um, this is just what I have on hand. This month colors are um, Storm, which is a gray, um, Guava, which is kind of um, uh, a coral, a dark coral color, and the other color this month was almond and I don't have the almond so we're gonna try to make an almond I haven't got around to ordering my almond color yet and what we're gonna do is we you can actually mix your paste colors we're gonna mix some brown and some white and try to come up with um, an almond color so let's open our envelope like i said it comes in this real pretty 
um, envelope comes just like this and this month's transfer is um, I think it is a hedgehog not a hundred percent on that um, but I think it's a hedgehog and it's called looking sharp um, like I've said in past videos um, the name of the transfer and um, the number to order it is on the back it also has uh, use and care for your transfer um, images on the back when you receive your club couture transfer it has a PDF for detailed instructions on how to um, do this particular project and they also on that PDF give you a link of a YouTube video that you can watch to um, do this particular project. So tonight we're going to use our board and base and the reason why they call this a board and base is because you've got a board and you've got a base and it sits either um, landscape or portrait position and you can do this side and you can do this side and as you see I've already done um, both sides and I take this one a lot to show and tails so this side has gotten a little messed up whenever you do your chalking and let it dry you can rub it and it won't come off but if you bang it around without protecting it, it it will get scarred up so what we're going to do is we're going to remove this side here and do our little hedgehog on that one so um, what you do is you <coughs> get your chalk design wet the one that you uh, don't want you get it wet and you take your board eraser and this this board and base is a chalk couture surface this board eraser also is in my online store and we're gonna get it moistened up a little bit and we are going to remove this design so you just rub it clean and then you just wipe your liquid off how's everybody doing tonight it is my Friday I think I've told y'all before I am a dental hygienist and here in North Carolina dentist office are closed usually closed on Fridays so I am off tomorrow I am super excited about sleeping in in the morning and getting up and probably chalking all day long I have got some transfers that I got in the mail and I am super excited about doing some chalking tomorrow so there's our board that's all nice and clean and we're going to open our transfer and what we have is the body here the little face we have cheeks and a nose and we have uh, our words so I'm going to take our uh, chalk couture um, transfer trimmers and I don't know I'll get it up a little bit closer to, so you can see 
um, there's cut lines and we're going to cut the transfer in the on the cut lines these little um, marks here are registration marks and what they do is help us line our because this this is actually a layering um, transfer and we're going to layer and make get everything lined up So I am trimming, or I am cutting my transfer apart on the cut lines. And if uh, y'all take a minute and you have someone that would be interested in this um, chalk couture project or the chalk couture um, designership or the club uh, feel free to share the video share it um, and let someone else in on this amazing opportunity so we have this is the front and we need to find a sharpie because we're going to mark our backs that one doesn't seem to be working so on the back I'm just gonna write body and that lets me know that this is the back and when we go to clean this transfer um, we're, we know not to put it on this side and I put the word words on that one and face and nose and cheek on that one. So the first thing we're going to do is pull our transfer body and place it on our fuzzing towel. This is also a chalk couture uh, project and we're going to peel the backing off of the transfer we're going to lay it on the fuzzing side which has the tag we're going to lay the fuzzing side down and we're just going to fuzz it a couple of times and we are going to place it on our board and base and try to get it as smooth as, or as straight as you can this little guy doesn't really matter I don't think if he's not too straight and what I have found is most of these little B-size transfers that fit the board and base, um, if you line them up in the corner, they, they fit per perfect. Chalk Couture has done all the thinking for us, so we don't have to think as hard as we, we need to about it. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take my little face and just kind of eyeball it a little bit and make sure he's still going to be pretty much same distance from here to here and it, that looks good. So the next thing I'm going to do is check for uh, bubbles. If you have, if your screen is a little lifted a little bit, it you won't get uh, good coverage if it has a little bit of air bubble in it. So I'm going to pull this up because I see a little bit of air right there under it and just smooth it down with my finger. And we're going to do his body in storm and we're going to do our little registration marks. Some people just go ahead and use the color that they're using. But I have a hard time. I've got old eyes and I am going to use my 
registration marks and I'm going to make them in white so I can see them really well. So beforehand I prepared my paste already so we wouldn't have to to worry about that and what um, you want to make sure is your paste is uh, a yogurt sour cream consistency and we're just going to so you would do that by adding a little bit of water if your paste was too thick and um, just stir it up and then you just add it to your transfer and just thin it out <clears throat> good, good coverage and then you're going to go back and remove the excess after you get your transfer good and covered. Make sure there's no um, lines because they will show through on your design. <coughs> Excuse me. And my paste is actually a little thick, I think. So we'll see how it goes. And I went over my registration mark, so I guess we're going to do gray. Maybe we can see it. <coughs> and we're going to take the corner, get it started, and pull straight up. If you pull it like this, your transfer will curl and it'll be really hard to put back on the transfer backing. So what I say is just pull straight up towards the sky and there's his little body. <clears throat> then we would put this in a water bath or we could clean it um, right away. And usually what I do is I go ahead and clean it because since we're doing layering, we're going to want this to uh, dry really quick. Or we want it to dry before we will lay the next layer down. <clears throat> so I'm going to make a little noise. I'm going to use my heat tool and dry this a little bit. So y'all might, if you have headphones in or whatever, you might want to turn your volume down. So I'm going to try to dry this right quick. Now, they recommend you use a hair dryer on the cool setting. This is a heat gun, and it gets really hot, so I don't hold it really close to my design. And then, after, if you use a heat gun, you want to make sure this... Um, goes back to room temperature before you lay your second transfer down. So I'm going to hold this up a little bit. Sorry about the camera. Um, that is your registration mark and that is your registration mark and we are going to line this up. Oh, you can't see it. Let me turn it a little bit. Okay, so we have the second part, which is the little face, and we're going to fuzz him up a little bit. And what fuzzing does is it just removes a little bit of the sticky, so you um, can pull your transfer when you're layering. You can pull your transfer off without pulling your first layer up. So what I'm doing is lining up my registration marks 
which like I said I should have done it in white and then I'm just going to check it I think he would come over a little bit. And then I'm just going to use my finger and press him down a little bit, but I'm not going to press on this side because I don't want that transfer to pull up my first layer and you actually what you can do is lay your backing down like that but you don't want it underneath your part that you're going to need to put your chalk on and we I've got a little, I'm going to set this aside for just a minute, I've got a little dish and like I said earlier we're going to um, make us a little bit of almond color. We don't need a lot. We need just a little bit. to make us a face color. Chalk Couture sells these little um, stir sticks as well. So we're going to see how this brown is going to turn this white into a face color. Looks pretty good. I'm going to have to get those two new colors that I don't have. This um, iced coffee and almond. I'm going to have to get those for sure. So I've made my face color. So I am smoothing it over my second layer. And I don't want to put that back in a jar because it is a different color. And then we are going to just pull him up. And there's his little face. He's starting to look cute. Okay. I'm going to dry his face again. And let it get back to room temperature. And while that's waiting to get room temperature, we're going to get the third layer which is his little cheek and his little nose and we're going to do that in the guava color. What y'all think about this so far? Isn't he cute? And I was thinking you know what what would you use this little project for? Um, you could make it and give it to one of your kids where they get dressed in the morning for school and they would see see it every morning. I think he's cute. 
So we've got his nose and his cheek. Get my little backer ready. I use those backers like that a lot. They are they're great for blocking out so you don't pull up your first or second layer of chalk. Cannot see these registration marks. My eyes are so bad. So let's find his nose. There we go. And we'll slide my little backer up. And just smooth it down just a little bit. Just the part that we're going to chalk. Because we don't want to make it stick. And then I'm going to use my multi-purpose tool. And basically one little stripe is swap is all we need for this one and pull him up and that's it so far and since we're done with the layering, we can take off our little registration marks with just a wet paper towel. And we're ready to do the words. Now when this um, sits in the little board and base, I'll show you. I'll put it in there. You kind of want to judge how much room, and it looks like it's about a half an inch. So when you do your words, you're going to want to make sure you don't put your words at least a half an inch where, this, where it fits in the board and base. And we're going to do the words in guava. And the words say, looking sharp. Pull the backing off the transfer and fuzz it a little bit. And then you kind of want to just, like I said, make sure you don't see, put it way down here because you won't see the words. And you kind of want to eyeball it and make sure you've got that it's uh, straight across and that it looks kind of um, symmetrical with your little hedgehog. And I'm going to use my backer again. Make sure there's no bubbles in my transfer part. Get my squeegee loaded up. Remove my excess. And do my peel and reveal. And I, this part I always pull real slow just to make sure everything got covered and I'm not pulling up my other chalk layers. And I'm going to dry it.
and there he is our little hedgehog that thinks he's looking sharp he's super cute and I'll put him in the boarding base and he sits like that um, in the container or in the base so that concludes my um, chalk it live video and what I do for my um, chalk club um, customers is if you join um, chalk couture club I send you um, a squeegee and I send you a board and base because it is a three month commitment when you sign up you're signing up for three months um, I think it's $19.99 a month I send you a board and a base and a squeegee to help you do your monthly project since you are committing to me for three months I, I felt like that that was something that I could do for you so yeah if you are interested in joining um, club just put um, a club in the comments and I will get uh, up with you and uh, let you know how to join and when you join I will get your address and figure and send you your free gifts that are from me. So that concludes my chalk live tonight and my little hedgehog. Um, it, after the live, if you if you will if you're watching this afterwards, just do hashtag replay for me. I appreciate it. Um, thanks uh, y'all for hanging out with me tonight, and um, I hope y'all have. A great Friday, a great weekend, and we'll see you next Thursday. Bye.